What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back out another video for you guys today. So, Jeepers Creepers reborn. Yes, there was an announcement about this a while back because they are reviving, okay? They are reviving Jeepers Creepers. Because for those of you all who've seen Jeepers Creepers 3 back in what, was, what year was that? 2018? 2017, 2019, I don't remember. But the bottom line is that could have been way better. The budget, you could definitely tell, was not um, at its highest compared to the last two films from years back. So I don't know what the hell happened there. I don't know if they, if some new um, directors, writers or some shit, some other company took it from the original and made it to what it was. I mean, the guy was literally floating in midair for about like 30 seconds before he killed the black dude and just it just looked cheap it didn't look it didn't look authentic like the last two movies so let's go ahead and check out the official trailer for jeepers creepers reborn okay three two one every 23 years we already know this you have a dirty creeper like goddamn santa Claus. the local legend right the creeper comes back every 23 years. Then what? To feed again. Okay. Can't believe I let you drag me to this. This is the Coachella of cosplay. <laughs> Not anybody. It is time for more. our creeper draw. On the grand prize Come on, you two. Are you sure this is where we're supposed to be? Yeah, we'll be out there in no time. Special three night fan event September 19th, 20th, 21st only in theaters. Oh, I'm, yeah, okay, all right, all right. I must say, this is definitely a step up from that last one. That's for damn show. Hence, I mean, hence the name Reborn. Reborn. Because this looks way better. Like, they definitely got their budget bag on this one. And that's what I like to see. Because um, I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't trying to, like, you know, shut down the third one completely. But it just, it was almost fan made. That's how it looked. But everybody that saw Jeepers Creepers 3, that's just how it looked to me. Like it looked fan made. It, it wasn't even that like scary necessarily. It was like kind of creepy here and there. Damn, it wasn't even that, you know, but um, they could have done better. But we do have, it is being reborn. It's being reborn. So we'll, we'll, we're gonna take that. Okay, so uh, let's read it. It's a lot. So just stay tuned. Jeepers Creepers Reborn unfolds at the hey. Reborn unfolds as the Horror Pound Jesus Festival holds its first ever event in Louisiana. Shout out to New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? I got familia there, um, where it attracts hundreds of geeks, freaks, and diehard horror fans from far and wide. Among them is fanboy Chase and his girlfriend Lane, who is forced to come along for the ride. But as the event approaches, Lane begins to experience unexplained premonitions and disturbing visions associated with the town's past and in particular, okay, local legend, urban myth, the Creeper, all right? As the festival arrives and the blood-soaked entertainment builds to a frenzy, Lane or Lene, what, well, yeah, Lane believes that something 
unearthly has been summoned and that she is at the center of it. Damn. Well, shout out to director Timo Borinsola, okay? He is the one who directed um, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I'm very excited about this. Like I said, this definitely looks like they got in their bag. Like they definitely spent a nice, decent budget on this and it did not look fan-made like the third one. <laughs> and you know, like I said, I'm not trying to shut it down completely. The third Jeepers Creepers, you know, for anybody out there, if you really like that one, okay. We can work with that. But yeah, I'm excited to see this. So remember you guys, special three night fan event, September 19th, 20th, and the 21st, only in theaters. So stay tuned, that's not too long, that's not too far away. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below. What is your favorite? I'm not even gonna, I, I, I hate to say it, but I'm not even gonna include the third one. So out of the first two Jeepers Creepers movies, Jeepers Creepers one and two, which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite? For me, ooh, I wouldn't have to go with the first one because the first one definitely had me creep the fuck out. Especially when he had the lady all yoked up and shit in, her, in his hand. Like I said, she was walking and all you could see is her silhouette and shit out of her house. It was real creepy. Real creepy, good classic. Um, and overall, you guys, who was your favorite horror movie character? Let me know in the comment section. For me, and I'm basing this off of how like scared I was of this character back in the day. I would have said Chucky first, but I wasn't as terrified of him as I was with Freddy Krueger, especially because I had a nightmare about him. And you, you all, we all remember that part where Tina was in the bed or some shit and he was calling her, right? Whispering her name and shit, talking about Tina. But we all know my name is Taylor. And that's what he was saying in my dream, I was like, Taylor. I'm like, what the fuck, I'm a whole ass kid. Leave me alone, Fred. Leave me alone, Frederick. Frederick Krugerin. So yeah, definitely him. But I mean, but I have I have like a top three, maybe top five, but I'm gonna go with Freddie for this video. And as far as on the ladies, as far as they're concerned, I'm gonna go with Mary Shaw. If you guys ever seen the movie Dead Silence, you guys know it will know understand exactly why I chose her. Because let me tell you something. Just imagine yourself in a room, dark as shit, pretty much, little to no light. And you see this old, dead woman who was once a ventriloquist turned kidnapper and everything in the above, floating across to you, smiling creepily. And if you dare to scream, your tongue will be gone forever. For those of you who have not seen it, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. That, that, that wasn't exactly telling the story. It's just like giving you a warning. If you do manage to want to watch this movie, then Silence is on Amazon Prime. Hell, YouTube. Look it up. Okay? Um, but anyway, if you would see something like that coming against you, floating towards you, because she wasn't even walking. She was floating. Floating like she was on a fucking cloud. That's all I got to see. That's all I got to see. And I'm about this bitch. But I might do a, a, um, a funny commentated review on Dead Silence. I just might do that. Oh my God. Yeah, I just might do that. Because as much as that movie terrified me back in the day, seeing it as, as, as 11 years old for the first time, um, and my mother claims that I wanted to see that. I do not remember asking her, Ma, can we go see Dead Silence? I just don't remember that, y'all. And if I did, shame on me because like I said, for the majority of the movie, when some shit was about to pop off, my ass was looking down in the popcorn bowl. But you can't, you can't blame me. I was 11 years old. I didn't know to expect no shit like that. Especially at the beginning, had Lisa ass all propped up in the bed like she had Billy propped up in the bed. Girl. And like I say, when you, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that when I actually review this movie. So you guys stay tuned for that if you wanna hear my thoughts on it. But once again, you guys let me know in the comment section favorite horror movie character and your favorite Jeepers Creepers movie out of the first two. Alright, let me know what the hell is that. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow me on my Instagram, hit the notification bell once you guys know what it is loaded. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks you all for watching so much. I appreciate you guys for continuing to support my channel. Okay? On the road to 5K. Yes, we're
we'll get there eventually. But thank you all for watching once again. I'll see you guys in the next one.